Hey guys, it's Brian and welcome back to my channel. Today's episode, we're working on the uh, Firebird, so it has to be a Friday, right? This time, we need to replace the oil pump on our 67 Firebird. It has now a small block Chevy 350 motor, which I know is not correct, so don't need to let me know that part of it. But oil pump is not working and we need to fix it. And I don't want to pull the motor in order to fix this. So I'm going to see if I can't lift that motor up just a little bit in order to get underneath there, pull that oil pan out, be able to pull that old oil pump out, put in a new millions pump with a new screen and rod, and then get it all back together and see if we can't get this engine some oil circulation and hope and pray we didn't mess up that motor too, too much by running it the little bit we did in the last episode of trying to get it started. So thank you guys so much for all the love and support in the last few videos. You guys, are thank you so much. Uh, please take a moment, hit that subscribe button, hit the like button, share this with uh, your friends on social media, and leave a comment. Let me know if uh, I should keep the Firebird red. Should I paint it black? Should I paint it gray? Should I go some kind of weird color? What should I do with this car? Let me know with the paint down below as we get closer to it. And also, if you have any suggestions as far as getting the top fixed, so it is just Swiss cheese and I need to really get that fixed. Never done one of these before. If you have some comments or suggestions, please take a moment and let me know down below on how to get that fixed the best way. All right, guys, enough chit chat. Let's get to figuring out what's wrong with this motor. This is how we knew we had a problem. When we were running the motor, when we first started it up, and we noticed there wasn't any oil coming out of the uh, rockers. So uh, let's get into uh, figuring out what's wrong with this uh, Firebird. All right, guys, so the Chevy 350 here. Went ahead and bought the oil priming pump tool, and we have ran it down in the hole, make sure it was seated properly, and still no oil. So I decided to take a magnet and uh, just kind of see what I could find in there. And um, I don't think I'm supposed to be able to pull that out of there. Um, yeah, no. So I guess I'm assuming the little plastic piece that holds the uh, rod into the uh, oil pump's missing. Is this a pull the motor out, or can I somehow fix this without pulling the motor? First of all, that's uh, pretty watery for oil. Big time. Hmm. All right, so here's the pan the oil pan, and uh, they're the bolts that go around the perimeter. So we're gonna try to get in there now that we've drained it and uh, get those bolts out. See if we can't uh, finagle this oil pan out of the way so we can see what's going on in there. Let's get that done. Well, in order for us to pull the engine up high enough, we were pull off that oil pan, we're gonna need something to put on the uh, engine to pull it up from. So I purchased this off of uh, Amazon, I'll put a link down below so you can get one for yourself. And uh, let's take the carburetor off and uh, let's set this on and bolt it down and go from there. Okay, so obviously we're gonna have to take off the carburetor. There's just four bolts, as you can see, all the way around all four corners that hold on the carburetor. Just take those off and uh, disconnect your fuel line and any other vacuum hoses that are connected to the uh, carb and set that aside and then we'll mount that plate down there and we'll start prepping to pull this motor up a little bit to get some access to that oil pan. Great. All right, carb is off. Take our plate, set it into place right there. Then we'll take our nuts and our washers and we'll bolt that back down. Well, she's now bolted down. And uh, next step is to get underneath there and take off those motor mounts. Let's get that done. All right, so we've removed both motor mounts. We've uh, taken our cherry picker and we've hooked it up. So we're ready just to take tension um, off the motor and we're just gonna lift it a little bit, just enough to be able to pull that pan off underneath. So let's go down there and see if we can't uh, get this done. So here's a look at the inside. I'm 
hoping there isn't uh, too much damage in there. Bell housing and what have you. So I think we're going to pull off that bolt right there on the oil pump. Take that bolt off. We'll just take this whole thing off and take a look seeing what it looks like. So by uh, tipping that engine up just a little bit, I was able to get underneath there and pull off this oil pan. Kind of give you an idea of what's inside there. Kind of uh, some nasty looking stuff. So let's come down and let's take a look at that oil pump. Well, I think we figured out why the oil pump wasn't working. If you uh, can see that, it's missing a tooth right there. And so when that pin would try to engage, it would just spin and spin and spin and spin and nothing. The pump itself works. But that's about it. Well, I guess we need a new oil pump. All right, so we picked up a uh, new M55 Millions oil pump made in the USA. Picked ourselves up a uh, new filter and a uh, new drive shaft with the metal connector. The big thing is, is getting the pickup screen attached to the oil pump correctly. And here's our original. So I'm going to put the new one in the vise and kind of line those up and take some measurements and get them correct. And then I'm just going to tack weld on that. So uh, let's get this in the vise and uh, get lined up and squared away. Our new pickup, and um, new pickup doesn't uh, quite want to fit in there. It's a little too big. So we're going to uh, heat up the pump, and then we'll get this in there. So with our new pump, we're going to need to put on a new oil screen. And there's a special tool that you can use to get the uh, new screen onto here, but I don't have. And I could buy it, but it's $80 for a tool that I'll use one time. One time. So, did some research and found out I could use this little split collar to put on one end and then drive the pump down onto the, uh, the screen. So uh, I left the uh, screen in the freezer overnight to kind of shrink that metal a little bit. So I'm going to go pull it out of the freezer, put this on the collar, put it in the vice grip, pound that in, and see if we can't get it to look something like that so we can put it back in the car. Let's go grab that. Well, that did the trick. Putting that collar up on the nipple of the filter and then setting that in the vise where it's just, just kind of sitting there. It's not tight. And then uh, taking a soft mallet and just driving that down in. Definitely uh, did the job. And now all you got to do is take the two screws off and the collar comes off and we're good to go. And uh, I already measured it. Considering, kind of see the angle there, and then I noticed that with the the same angle on this one, I measured it out using. Uh, let me show what I did here. So by placing that in the vise and holding it down level, and then measuring out what it says just to make sure that it matched both angles and uh, it matched it up just fine so 
I'm gonna put a little tack weld in their necks. Let's do that. All right, so I'm just going to uh, put a little bit of a tack weld about right there and call this good. So uh, let me do that. We'll move on to uh, getting it inside the uh, car and the engine. All right, I'll make sure I clean off this best I can. Put that bolt in there. Just gonna snug it down real quick before I torque it. Alright, then we're gonna torque this to 65 foot pounds. Okay, she's torqued. She's in there nice and tight, got her welded. Now let's, uh, let's put our pan back on. Hope for the best on this one. All right, oil pan is back up. All the uh, primer bolts are torqued down and the uh, four main bolts are bolted, uh, torqued down as well. Now I'm gonna pull off that oil filter, put a new oil filter on and uh, double check the oil plug, make sure it's tight. And then I think we'll lower the engine back down, put the uh, engine mount bolts back in. I think it's time we fill it up with some oil and see if our, uh, our engine's gonna make some oil pressure. Let's get that off now. Okay, so as you can see, the uh, engine stand is off. We've lowered the motor back down. We've put in the uh, the uh, mounts, the bolts and the mounts. Next thing is take the uh, lift plate off and uh, we'll fill it up with some oil. Let's get to it. Okay, I've uh, put the valve cover on this side so I can pour in the uh, oil here. This little tool right here for priming your oil pump in your uh, Chevy small block or big block, uh, it's 20 bucks on Amazon, and I'll put a link down below where you can buy it. But I also found out you can rent this for free at almost any of your uh, local auto parts stores. So uh, if you need to prime your engine, it's been sitting for a while, or you put a new oil pump in, go ahead and grab uh, one of these or rent it for free. And uh, let's uh, get to this. Well, I just uh, burned up my drill. I don't know if you can see it smoking or not, but uh, yeah. <laughs> Ruined a good Harbor Freight drill I bought like uh, three or four years ago. <laughs> All right, let me grab another drill. Be a little hard to see but we now have oil coming up through 
on the rockers. So I'm pretty confident we now have oil pressure in this motor and we can start to put her back together and uh, get to it. So I'm pretty uh, pretty happy that the new oil pump's working and uh, confident we can uh, wrap up. All right, guys, thanks so much. Please like, subscribe, and share, and we'll see you next Friday. Have a good one.